And Tom is with me now. Morning, Tom. So is the fear that this outbreak could lead to further cases or is it contained, do we think? Well, that is the answer for now, thank you. Sarah Jane is here now with a look at the rest of the day's news. Sarah Jane. Thanks very much, Samantha. There are new calls to crack down on the sexualisation of children. Nine in ten parents are unhappy with the way companies target children a year after an independent review called on businesses to do more to protect them. Darren Little reports. Uh, well, do let us know your thoughts uh, on this story. You can tweet us at Sky Sarah Jane or at uh, Sky News Samantha. Um, let us know and we'll read some of them out later on uh, in the programme. The Duke of Edinburgh remains in hospital this morning where he is being treated for a bladder infection. The families all celebrating the Jubilee together, led, of course, by the royal family. So we saw the Queen surrounded uh, by her children, grandchildren, cousins and nieces. Uh, and Alice Thompson in the Times saying that it's a free parenting lesson. Um, some of them are... Uh, all adults need to help and get children involved. Um, they should stay outdoors as much as possible. Um, get grandparents involved. Include them and ask their advice when it comes to children. And the final line of the article is really nice. She says, families go on, they are bound together by rituals and memories and in the end they give us our deepest pleasure. Um, in the sun this morning, a lot of talk about Gary Barlow. Mm. Will he become Sir Gary Barlow after, of course, producing that song, especially for the Queen and her Diamond Jubilee, and organising uh, the big concert. Uh, six to one on with the bookies now to become Sir Gary Barlow by 2014. They put up a lot of hard work in that. Anyone who watched that documentary, travelling the world to put this together, mm. and also obviously putting the concert together as well. you think he deserves something, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was no the mean least thing. they could He do. even got a name check in uh, Prince Charles's speech uh, about his mama. So I think I think Sir Gary Barlow um, is uh, on <laughs> the way. Is honest, um, yeah. This is in the Express. Uh, here come the girls, the new queens of chic, of course, led um, uh, by uh, Princess Catherine there. Uh, it seems that since uh, she's arrived on the scene, all the other members of the royal family, all the female members... Stepped have, up the game, Yeah, they've stepped they? up their game. They seem to have employed stylists. And it's all about the headdresses on slightly off-centre, just over the right eye, it seems. So they're keeping an eye on the Jubilee fashion. Um, Kate, of course, opting for... Uh, Alexander McQueen, which seems to be a firm favourite. Um, away from the Jubilee, in the Daily Mail, hosepipe ban to end in time for the Olympics. Um, it says that it's expected to end after, of course, all the recent heavy yeah. rain. We saw a lot of it over the weekend. Everybody asking, how can we have a hosepipe ban when we've got so much rain around? Apparently, by the time the Olympics arrives, according to the Daily Mail, the hosepipe ban will be lifted. Hurrah! Um, exactly. And then in the <laughs> because our gardens really need it. Now. Yeah, exactly. Britain's looking very <laughs> green. All those scenes over the weekend. There's uh, a lot of rain around. And uh, this is in the Independent. Um, the global giant Disney uh, is taking the step of uh, banning junk food advertising in and around its programming. Um, Obviously, on Sky News, we've been covering Michelle Obama talking a lot about how she wants to get American children up, out, getting fit and eating better. And it sees that uh, Disney uh, are taking a leaf out of her book and banning junk food advertising in and around its programmes. OK, great. Sarah Jane, thank you. We'll be back with more of the newspaper's inside pages at 6.40 with military commentator Luke Chaveau and body language expert Judy James going to be giving us her insights into the Jubilee celebrations, exactly what the Queen was thinking. So do stay with us for that. Coming up in the next 10 minutes, economic pain in Spain. We visit a town devastated by unemployment. Loving Venus, why sky watchers have been out in force to see this. And why pushy parents are being blamed for the rise in exam appeals. That's coming up in our paper review with military commentator Luke Chaveau and body language expert Judy James. Now to... Meanwhile, Prince Philip uh, remains in a London hospital where he's being treated for a bladder infection. The illness forced him to miss a number of events being held to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said the Duke will remain under observation for a few more days. The United States says Al-Qaeda's second in command has been killed in a drone strike in Pakistan's northwest. I think that um, in terms of the roles, I think it was actually Camilla's Jubilee. She came out really on top. I mean, she was integrated. In terms of the body language, it was spectacular. I literally, when I saw them coming out on the balcony, um, I've watched a lot of Camilla's appearances and she's always been slightly sidelined. Even at the Royal Wedding, she, she was left to her own devices a little bit, but here... Well, she really was in pole position, isn't she? She was in the carriage, in the carriage next to the Queen um, yesterday. Ch Charles spoke to her, which is actually quite phenomenal in public, and he moved closer to her and they had a little chat. Um, what I also exactly. anymore then exactly. moving swiftly on uh, Olympic terrorism fears. This is about checks for uh, the Olympics and people who are going to be involved. And this is in the Guardian. That's right. I mean, if you saw over the weekend, you saw so many 